All right, well, uh, congratulations. I think all those appearances on Trail Talk paid dividends. Yeah. <laughs> must, that must be the reason right there. So how do you feel? feel great. You know, the numbers came in, and we had said from the beginning that there's a clear choice. You either want to move forward and build on success, or you want to go back. And just based on the numbers that came in and the result, I think people people subscribe to the uh, Seems uh, to like the you're message. Still campaigning. I mean, you won. You won. I know. I know. A little bit. I, I, I'm excited. I'm Were you excited. expecting such a huge margin, though? Like, it kind of was hard to call. It seemed like it was a pretty close race all throughout the campaign, but then for the results to start pouring in, and for you to have 55% of the vote, what do you think that uh, what that accounts? Well, our analysis, we always thought, and then, you know, you never know you're right until the final day, until the, the numbers are counted, but we always suspected that if people were happy with what was going on here in the city in the last decade, that, that I was the alternative, and if they weren't, they were looking for change, and that you had John or Larry as, as uh, folks to consider for change. So uh, the numbers kind of panned out like we had anticipated, uh, but clearly that, that number in front of me there is is, uh, is great. It, it's I'm, I'm, I'm humbled by that number. So, Drew, what do you do tomorrow? Do you go to City Hall tomorrow or do you take a break? Eddie has that cubicle for you. <laughs> I, I think transition starts right away. Uh, I had said that my first day on the job, the, the first priority that I would have would, would be to put in two phone calls, one to the head of Chrysler, one to the head of Ford, just to introduce myself and let them know how important their investment is to our community and any future investments are to our community. I want, them to, I want that to be a top priority. So that's the first order of business tomorrow. But we start the transition right away and, and, uh, and make sure it's smooth and seamless and we keep moving forward. Let's get closer to the mic. We want to hear everything. Okay, you say. sorry, guys, now, sorry. Drew, yeah. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. It's not booming like it was. Do you know the head of Chrysler and the head of Ford already? I've never met them. I've never had a conversation with them, never met them, but I think it's important now to make that a, a top priority. I said I would do that, and I'm going to follow through on that as first order of business tomorrow. You've got some tough things coming up next year. You've got like, firefighters, or, or you're going to have to start negotiating with them again. But didn't the last one go over eight years? Uh, what other tough things have you got on your plate coming up? Well, we're going to sort all that stuff out. We're not going to. Don't bring me down tonight, Chris. You're trying to bring me down. This is a good night. That's this his is job. A positive night. You know? <laughs> But any, so we'll deal with the challenges as they come. Uh, we'll plan it all out, map it out, and and be strategic about the way we approach things. Uh, but you know what? I just I, this is a positive night. Things are good, and, and I want to look on the good things tonight and, and just be really happy and thankful for uh, for what's happened here tonight. Is, is it true that you're the tallest mayor in Windsor's history? That I don't know. How that tall are you? Know. How tall are you? I'm six foot four. So it's Seems possible. possible. So how does Drew Dilkin celebrate? We know you're not going to go out and drink coffee or pop. So uh, no coffee, no pop. <laughs> What's a Walker, the night look a like Walker Ville Ale, perhaps. <laughs> Maybe some Essex County wine because I'm a regional thinker. Uh, oh, well, there you go. So, uh, Drew, what's, what should our headline be uh, on A1 of tomorrow's star? I'm going to let you guys decide that. I, You know what? You guys write the news, and I respect that. And, and uh, uh, you know, what I would say is Dilkin's humbled by win. That, that's uh, because that's truly that's how That's not going to sell papers, Drew, but it's a nice sentiment. <laughs> and uh, you, ran, you ran a great campaign. You came on Trail Talk. You were very approachable. So kudos for that. It takes a lot of stones to do what you did. Oh, here's a chance to uh, one-up Eddie Francis. Uh, <laughs> how many terms are you going to serve? Uh, you know what? I was asked this question before, and I thought two terms was a reasonable number. Uh, you know, I'm not looking to make a career out of being the mayor of the city of Windsor, uh, but you know, I think two terms would be a reasonable number to get make sure you get up to speed and and, and start implementing your agenda. And then a second term, I think, uh, if if the people will have you back, I think uh, is is a uh, is is a good opportunity. After that, I think you're treading in thin water. I was looking at uh, the makeup of the new council and trying to figure out if you'd have support of half of those people, and I think you might. What do you think? I'll be dead honest with you. I haven't even seen the numbers on who's elected to council. Uh, we left here, and I actually don't even know. I, Melanie at uh, Kojiko just said there's going to be five well, new Maggie's faces. Done. Maggie's out? Yeah, Finished Maggie's fifth. Done. Okay. So I, I, I honestly I have no idea uh, who's who's been elected to the council. We have to look at those numbers. I haven't seen it. I haven't honestly seen it. Drew, we so don't want to hog you too much. Uh, the other media is hating our guts right now. Dylan? <laughs> well, just uh, yeah, to, to cap it off, uh, you said it on stage, though, but anything else you want to say uh, to the residents of Windsor, the voters of Windsor? Just thank you. I mean, I, I'm, I'm truly humbled by uh, your support and your vote for me. Uh, in this election, 55 and a half percent uh, is 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 just amazing, and uh, and I promise not to let you down. I'll keep working as hard as I did for the last eight years, and uh, and and for me, it's all about working for you. I have the taxpayers back, not beholden to any special interest group, 
and uh, proven that for the last eight years, and that's how I'll intend to move forward. Excellent. Adam, now would you do us the favor of uh, taking the first selfie as mayor with the Trail Talk crew? Of course. Yeah? All right, you ready? All right. <laughs> there, we got a few there. So appreciate it. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks.